Johnny Walker whiskey. Oh, how exciting. Lovely. What a great day. We're so we're drinking, you say? We're drinking. Two of us we're in a drinking video. Yeah. That don't, always I don't, ends well. I don't think people are going to enjoy that. Red, black, blue. Oh, just different labels. Different colors? Mm -hmm. Like Power Rangers? I could not tell you. Uh, I, I, I am not an expert on whiskey. I have no idea. I enjoy no, whiskey. I. It doesn't mean I know anything about it. It's Scotch, Jamie. Do you know mm. what that means? It means that you pretend that you know the difference between Scotch mm. and other brands of exactly. whiskey. Exactly. You're 100% right. Yeah. Whiskey glasses! Oh, I know what that is. Oh, would you look at that? It looks like we're drinking it out of a candlestick. I love these glasses. Mm. These glasses are fantastic. Glen Sharon is Glen Cairn. Johnny label, yeah. Walker red label. Oh, look at him. He's a little jaunty character. Is He's that Johnny Walker? Character. He has a top hat and a cane. Um, First of all, could it, I love the way the label has a fella called Johnny Walker. That's what you want. Johnny Walker, straight to the point. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Please call me Johnny. Jonathan was my father. Mm -hmm. I was told recently yeah. by a trier that when you smell whiskey, you're supposed to smell it with your mouth open, which is like a very weird. I know when I tried to do it, I kept snorting. I you're supposed to go. I Am I sophisticated? Yeah. How are you supposed to? Hold on. How are you supposed to breathe through your nose? I don't breathe know. Into you just your said nose open with your mouth. Your mouth. Open. Yeah. Is you, that it? You're giving me Hannibal vibes. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting it? I'm getting something. I mean, yeah. All right. Here we go. It is kind of smoky. It's very smoky, yeah. Um, no, this is nice. It's 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 smooth, but it has that. <sighs> Do you know that? Yeah. It's so smooth. It's a very specific flavor. Yeah. And it's specifically one I've had nightmares over. Maybe that has more to do like your psyche than the actual drink itself. Oh, a hundred percent. Do you need to talk to somebody? I, I'm here talking to you. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> it's not giving me like nothing is really hitting me. Like it is kind of smoky, but not that smoky. Like I think maybe I'd prefer if it was super smoky. Red Label has been the best-selling Scotch whiskey in the world since 1945. Wow. Are you shitting me? I could see myself sipping this. Yeah, in front mm -hmm. of a fire. In Not a big right library, now. yes. You know, in a leather chair, throwing books into the fire, mm -hmm. stay I'm warm, laughing hysterically, <laughs> adjusting my monocle. Yeah, where's my other one? You'd say. <laughs> I tend not too to rate high. things. Yeah, I think I give things too high a rating. Let's let's say a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Uh, I don't yeah. I don't think we're stepping on anyone's toes by using that catchphrase, right? Yeah. That, that doesn't belong to anyone. <laughs> we'll also in the clap. Yeah. And wear a stunning suit. Yeah. Sorry, my mouth is closed. <laughs> Ooh, I get, he what? gets a better bottle. Look at that. He gets a game of a genuine Game of Thrones bottle. Fire consumes everything it touches. Well, not if you have a fire, fire extinguisher. extinguisher. But continue. So, what's the relevance of Game of Thrones? Um, Which at this point is a bit decent. I mean, I think it went downhill after the opening of season six, episode ten. Already? Yeah. Johnny Walker, A Song of Fire is a blended Scotch whiskey inspired by these beasts of the sky. Okay. So full bodied flavor delivers subtle red fruit, a hint of spice, and sweet smoke. You don't often get smoke described as sweet. No, a song of spice and fire. Doesn't sound as good. No. No. I was expecting more smoke. I would say that's smoother than the last one. Tastes like oh. a Targaryen's butthole. I would imagine if you were trying to introduce someone to Scotch, this would be a good way to start because it is super mild. Yeah. Is it a step up from the last one? I think so. I find this much easier to drink. Or well, actually, do you know what? It's very similar to Paddy's. Do you mm. Paddy's? I've had, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's like with a smoky flavor. Mm. You prefer this to the red label? Yeah, there's more really? going on. I think that, well, do you like the other one better? No, no, I'm just saying that the, 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 I thought I thought the red label uh, uh, was there was more to it. Like I thought, like a Scottish whiskey would have a bit of a bite to it, a bit of a Scottish personality. Yeah, I guess like you. harsh, yeah, uh, like strong, but welcoming. Yeah, I tell you, you'd be fire breathing after that. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you now, you'd be invading all of Westeros. You would. You would. You, 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 you would. Yeah, no, you would. You'd, you'd be. You'd be fucking running down with you the would. sword in your you'd, hand, you'd, and you'd be. You'd, you'd be, be, you'd be you'd running off with an island. Game of Thrones is basically Ireland. Yeah. It's basically yeah. Ireland in present time. Cold. And if you yeah. depressing, everyone's running away with wildlings. If you act the bollocks, you get sent to Cork for a year. <laughs> ten, ten out of ten. Yeah, ten out of ten. Yeah. 
We're, again, no one else says that on the channel, right? That's, we're not taking that from anyone. It's 11 out of 10. It's very Spinal Tap energy. Yeah, it's 11 out of 10. Song, song of ice, ice, and we had a song of fire Blended earlier. Scotch whiskey, yeah. Very Game of Thrones-ish. Do you just have Game of Thrones whiskey? No, he's shaking his head. No, no there's no, different no. types. Wait, okay, was this whole thing just made because there's White Walkers in Game of Thrones, and they're called Johnny White Walkers? Yeah, but don't diminish it. Why you, you know, it's fucking grey. Look at the wolf and all on it. One yeah. of Scotland's most northern distilleries gives the blend a crisp, clean taste. The blend's delicate flavor is green and grassy. Oh, interesting, with notes of vanilla and trop uh, tropical fruit. Ooh. That's kind of wild. I don't really associate that with like the icy kind of moments. Mm -hmm. uh, is... Now, if you want to read that again, uh, let's try it again. Just one more time, let's try it again. Uh, and this time, let's do German. I don't know any Just... German, you know German. No, I don't mean in German, I mean a German accent. Oh no, I can't do, no, I can't do that. It's fun. Fine. Tastes like the first one. I like it a lot. It's that's not lovely. actually smoky at all. No, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. It's nice. It's light though. It is. It's very, it dances on the tongue. Uh, you do get a lovely um, vanilla kick off that. And would you of, buy that in a shop? Bit of fruit. I, I actually swear, I swear it would, yeah. You would not. I'd buy the whole collection and put them on, if I had the money, and put them on the shelf and go, well, which one, which one of Game of Thrones do you want? Like Johnny Walker as a Scotch had nothing to do with Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So this seems like more of a marketing endeavor than something that is like true to the brand's mm -hmm. origin. And like, I don't believe the story as much. Like when right. I tried like mead and they were like, this is bun red and mead and it was drank hundreds of years ago. See, you can do a German accent. That's not, is that German? Was can that, I? was that, was that? I don't know what What were you doing was. there? That was like my, uh, Excitable. Do it I, again? I don't know. I can't do Sorry. it. No. You keep asking me what my opinion of this is, Colin, but I know nothing. It's not about the whiskey. It's about the company. And that's why I'm having a terrible fucking time. Aww. <laughs> I'm having that's a so, great time. That's so mean. I want to mess I'm having a lovely time with Colin too, and the whiskey. All right, come on. No. Yeah. Actually, no. No, you're great. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, it's the karma. Look at the wolf. Uh, Look at the wolf. That's the wolf. The I never said anything about it. You should have disrespected again. the wolf. I'm sorry. Out of ten. Oh, I'd say eleven. 11. It's eleven out of ten. Easily eleven out of ten. Yeah. Oh. She's a sexy one. She comes with a box. Black label. Age twelve years. Holy moly. Oh, this is good stuff, I man. I know. Is this a, is it, just because it's old doesn't mean it's good. Yeah, yeah, it does. Does it? Yeah. I mean, I'm old. I'm not good. This is a fancy one that no one ever buys because yeah. it's more expensive. Oh, look at this guy. His little walking thing is like he's like shrouded in his cape. Ooh, he looks like he's gonna do a reveal. You know when you like go over to your boyfriend's house and you just wear your trench coat? Do I? Hmm. <laughs> this fine 12 year old blended Scotch whiskey draws exceptional Scotch whiskey from across Scotland and culminates in what is regarded as the opatome. How do you say that? Epitome? <laughs> <laughs> and culminates in what regard in what is regarded as the epitome of the master blender. <laughs> culminates in what is regarded as the epitome of the master's blender's art. Well, right, you got it in one. Way to go. Apparently we're getting in for deep fruity foreground flavors, drier mm -hmm. peaty nuances, vanilla and raisin tones, and a long smooth malt driven finish. I love peaty nuances. You, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him for ages. How is peaty nuances? <laughs> oh, he's great. He just got married. Oh, good yeah. for him. He I works down at a newspaper office now. Oh, that's a that's a dying industry. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's crying every day. Oh, really? His, his marriage is on the rocks. <laughs> so is mine. To me, it smells like whiskey, but I drank it. You bastard. I did a whiskey sneeze. That's incredibly smooth. Oh. It's like the Johnny Walker Red, but without any of the bite. Mm hmm I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, re it's like the type of smokiness that I really like. This one's weird. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like this one. It's got the same flavor notes as the red, mm -hmm. but it just, it just feels like everything's been... The, the edges have been smoothed off just to go down your mouth so much easier. It doesn't so much go down the throat as like massages your tongue. This is it. As it just like slips. Sings you a little lullaby while yeah. it's going down your tongue. Yeah. I do know what turf tastes like because my sisters used to put it in my mouth when I was younger. So I do, it does have a peaty like taste. Kind of tastes like earth, but like different. Your sisters used to what? So like youngest of four. Mm -hmm. So. Obviously, you'd be tormented. Well, my sisters taught me everything I know, so I yes, actually how think to they've eat turf. pardoned me. I can eat anything. I can eat this table. Is that is that where this comes from? I can drive. Is that this explains 
yeah. everything. Hold on. The reason you don't res you you have no bad reaction to anything is because your sisters made you eat turf as a I'm child. Among other things. I might enjoy this whiskey, but I'm not sure if it's because I know it's aged whiskey and it's it's fancy and and it's black label and maybe you're supposed to like it. But even if I am, I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. It's good. You look like a black label. I could drink you up, baby. <laughs> Um, if I was to go for an aged scotch, I'd probably go for Rod Stewart. Yeah, I'm not saying it's for me. It's a little yeah. bit of a Prince and the Pauper situation. Yeah. We feel we wandered into a, a club that we're not meant to be in. Mm -hmm. But still nice to have a little... little, a little change scene. of scenery. Yeah, see what the yeah. other half live like. Yeah, see how the other side live. Pretty well. Out of 10? Oh, uh, 11. 11! 11! 11! Yeah. 11 yeah. It's stunning. Oh, this has a necklace. Uh, you like that now. It has jewellery on it. It's massive. Oh, what the fuck? Johnny Walker Blue Label. Oh, is this porno? Heavy. Now, I'm gonna... It's a heavy bottle. Is it? You, the, that glass is thick. It's a thick glass. Yeah. So oh, hiding... hold on. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, it's engraved. That's so cool. The Tri Channel. Wow. That's this channel. How did this come about? This was Whose this was dick sent did to you have? Sorry. <laughs> this was actually sent to us by one of our Patreon supporters wow. named Joseph Madden. Joseph Madden, thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Honestly, thank you. What thank a you. legend. Ha Joseph! This is outrageously generous. Um, God bless you, sir. No, you're joking. How much, how much, how much is it? 200 quid. <gasps> 200 quid. That makes me so happy. Like, how lovely. I mean, alcohol is romantic at the best of times, but I also think that alcohol is a beautiful gift. He also sent these Glencairn glasses. Very nice. I, I can just it. see him watching this video and be like, oh, Donald's on it. Why? That's... Why did they let Donald do it? It's super smoky from that one whiff. I was like, whew. <sighs> it smells very um... sharp. I f there's like, well, there's a sharpness to me, mm -hmm. um, but I think the flavor is going to be quite smooth. Ooh, sharp. Hmm. That's really Ooh, good. That's so good. It's, oh, that's it's amazing. smoky, but it's really easy to drink. That's like drinking silk. It's lovely. That is gorgeous. <coughs> that's really nice. It's a lot sharper than the other one. This is the smoothest one we've tried. Smooth. That's really good. Oh, I'm so happy. What a lovely, lovely thing. My blood is rushing to my face right now. Yeah, because it knows there's a party happening. Yeah. So when, that's where we should be. Yeah. I'd rather drink a Capri Sun than this. <laughs> This is probably one of the finest whiskies I've ever tasted. Yeah. And you think you'd like a Cadbury Sun better. Yeah. I mean, I'm being facetious. I'm being facetious. It's a bit. It's a facetious bit, so don't hate me too much. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's genuinely really good. Oh, this is the best one. I have to say this is the best one. Hints of vanilla. Um, it's like a warm summer's day. Mm -hmm. A little bit of orange, maybe. Veal. Veal? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> because this is... Quite dear. Absolutely fantastic, Joseph. You're a very good man, and I appreciate you sending that over. I'm, I'm getting in this casket. I'm never coming out. <laughs> no, okay, fine. If I can be completely honest, this is a beautiful gift, Jamie. It is a beautiful. It is a beautiful gift. And the whiskeys were. I can I can taste a good whiskey when I can taste a good whiskey. And thank you, Joseph Mann. He came around in the end. Twelve? I think it's like a twelve. I think we can do a solid twelve. Yeah, twelve out of ten for uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That is fan. That's actually fantastic. It leaves a nice bit of heat in your mouth. Yeah, I'd like it to leave some sort of trace of itself. Like, I don't want to like, drink it without knowing that I'm drinking it. Like all her victims, she wants them to scream. I know. And it's she's more like fun that with her whiskey. Pain, pain. Yeah. You know. We learned that there's some very expensive alcohols mm -hmm. out there that uh, we will never get to try in our regular day-to-day mm -hmm. -day lives, so it was a pleasure to come in today to try them. Yeah, for a few minutes, I got to live as a very fancy man. I feel very special that there's someone out there who enjoys our content so much to send us such a beautiful gift, and I really appreciate it. The whole drama of having something that has your collective channel's yeah. name engraved on it is extremely stunning. I'll tell you who the best, which, which one is the best. Joy Mads. Cheers for giving me the most expensive thing I'll ever taste. And it is six o'clock in the morning and we're going to go to work now. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, Kira has a message for you. Wow, do, do I sure do, accent. Kids. Do a German accent, do a German I accent. I can't do a German accent! Okay, can you just do it? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to click the bell. No pressure. It's down there. Okay. And we also quicker. have just a little other bit quicker. videos a little bit that quicker. you can watch. Kind of quicker. Don't forget the bell. The bell. Say thank you. Thanks.